So I wanted to talk to you guys about AT&T TV. This is now AT&T's flagship TV service, uh, replacing DirecTV, replacing AT&T U-verse. Actually, technically right now there's five, count them, five different TV subscriptions that are available technically from AT&T. You've got AT&T Watch TV, you've got AT&T TV Now, you've got AT&T U-verse TV, and of course, Direct TV. Did I already say that? And then AT&T TV, which is what I'd like to talk to you about today. So this service both excites me and infuriates me to take a page from the Dallas Morning News article about it. I think that they nailed it. And that is exactly what I found with this service. Um, it used to be called Satellite Over Streaming, and that's about what it is. Um, so let me talk about a little bit of the history, why AT&T uh, did this, how we got to where we are today. So uh, AT&T paid DirecTV about $49 billion to acquire DirecTV and all of its content, satellite system, infrastructure, you name it. I think back in 2015, um, because this is the time when telcos and tech companies are acquiring content. Uh, they sense after acquiring DirecTV, they acquired all of Warner Brothers, and now they have Warner Media. They're moving into HBO Max, and they own HBO right now. So they did this for content. And they had a really exciting idea, I thought, when they moved out, uh, rolled out DirecTV now. Um, the situation with TV and uh, content distribution is pretty fluid, I and mean, we've got we've got obviously satellite and cable. Those are the two standards today. The problem with satellite and cable is that they typically have a, a large clunky box, and it's expensive to roll it out, right? So AT&T has to have a truck roll to your house. Somebody has to climb onto your roof, attach a satellite dish, and you've got all these. Like giant mocha adapters and uh, different boxes in your house. So what AT&T did is they uh, created a version of that with all their content called it DirecTV Now, and they uh, promoted it and promoted it by offering a $35 per month um, offering to all their brand new subscribers. I think this was like November of 2016. So anyone that signed up for their Go Big tier uh, paid $35. So that Go Big tier now, about four years later, give or take, is now uh, basically uh, the extra package for AT&T TV. But here's where it gets tricky. Instead of $35 a month now, it comes with um, a couple, there's a couple catches to it. So let's start with the good. So the good, all right. The good is this little guy right here, okay? So this is an Android set-top box and a, a really cool remote. We'll take a look at that remote. A really cool remote. And guys, I think that actually on the good side, this is the best product that AT&T has ever made. Look at this, nice and small, sleek. You've got your ethernet, your HDMI, you've got your uh, power in there. And basically the idea is that what was DirecTV now, which is basically just a, um, a username and a password, you log in, you get a bunch of channels, and you can use that on your Roku, your Amazon Fire Stick, your Apple TV. The advantage of having this dedicated set-top box is that uh, it's much more like a traditional TV package that people are used to. So the advantage of it is that it's uh, it's dedicated just for TV. You turn it on, it's got the remote with channel numbers. The channel numbers for anyone that's had DirecTV are familiar. Um, I mean, I've had DirecTV since the mid nineties and you know, channel 206 has been ESPN for almost 30 years, right? So people that have had DirecTV are gonna have their channel numbers and, and be nice and familiar. This is what sets it apart from different streaming services. Um, also, the buttons like previous channel, it's easy to flip between channels. It's more of an intuitive interface. And also the remote is, is super slick in that it automatically pairs with all of your uh, audio equipment. It's, it's almost like a Logitech Harmony remote, but in some cases even better because it's, it's very, uh, very intuitive and very, very cool with how it pairs with your audio system, 
with your TV. Uh, there's just really no, uh, you know, no need to work for that at all. It just does it for you. Um, the other thing that's cool about it is that um, it's got this little, uh, you know, it's, it's basically an Android TV box. So you press the Android button and uh, it's, it's pretty much like, you know, OK Google on your remote. So you can talk, you can ask it about the weather, you can ask it for sports scores and it'll overlay that on your TV. Just like how, of course, Apple TV does, I think Roku does it too, and I know Fire TV does as well. So it has that functionality. Um, so that's, and, and the picture quality. The picture quality is the best I've ever seen. Uh, this, the picture quality is even a little bit better than I think Direct TV Satellite. The picture quality is incredible. There's huge, huge advantages to, because it's distributed over the internet. Um, there's no wire degradation. If you're, you know, you've got direct TV, they've got to run coax cables or the cable company. There could be degradation in the signal somehow. Uh, that's not the case with internet delivered TV. And this, this box is very, very, uh, you know, it, it optimizes, uh, your internet connection. I think it's just eight megabits, which is what they require. You can also hotspot if you have AT&T wireless, you can hotspot your phone and it doesn't count against your data cap. So there's some, some huge advantages to this. Um, so the picture quality is incredible. The uh, channel changing, it's what, two seconds. It's probably a little bit quicker than DirecTV satellite and how it changes the channels. Um, and the other thing that is, I think blow away, it blows it away from any uh, of the competition, including YouTube TV is the interface and the um, capability of their cloud DVR, um, the interface I'm talking about. I know YouTube TV has got unlimited uh, cloud DVR, but there's restrictions with YouTube TV and you know a lot like NBC, they put in commercials, things like that. With AT&T TV, it's, there's no restrictions, um, at least that I've found yet, and I've, I've tested it out quite a bit. You can uh, record 30 things at once, uh, as long as you don't go over that 500, uh, you know, gigabyte <laughs> cap, which you're not going to go over. Is it gigabyte? It's hours. It's 500 hours, which probably translates into gigs as, anyways. Um, so, and it's portable. So you can, when you're, when you're uh, searching for shows to watch, if you've got traditional cable satellite, you've got a hunt and pack with the keyboard with your thumb and then, you know, W E S T. Okay. There's Westworld. I'm going to record it, uh, with AT&T TV. You just take out your phone, take out the AT&T TV app and just type it in instantly and it'll record it across everywhere. And it also uh, mirrors what you're watching across all devices. That could be any, any phone, any iPad, any tablet, any other TV, uh, you name it. It's exactly the same. And, it, and again, if you have AT&T wireless, it does not count against your data cap. So if you're, you know, in a remote job, uh, if you travel a lot, that sort of thing, this, this is a huge advantage. Uh, it's super cool. So that is what I love about AT&T TV. Uh, it's really amazing. The picture quality is second to none and the DVR is unbelievable. And uh, the user interface, I absolutely love. I think that they nailed it. And I think it's the best product I've ever done. I mean, let's talk about the downsides. Okay, two main downsides, price and content. So because of some arcane rules, I don't know exactly how it works, but um, there is different um, rights that need to be, uh, that are held onto by content providers, like let's take NFL Network. So uh, any content provider, they have to negotiate between a DirecTV, and their other offerings. So just because they get the rights to say NFL Sunny Ticket or NFL uh, Network or KTLA Channel 5 in, in, uh, here in Los Angeles, it doesn't necessarily translate to their internet uh, TV streaming service. Those have to be renegotiated. So at and is really stingy on their content deals. They're not gonna go out of their way and spend money to uh, reacquire the NFL Network. At least they haven't yet. I don't know if this is a brand new service. And as of yet, I don't, based on what I've seen with AT&T, they will not be doing stuff like that. So time will tell. So I'm in the Los Angeles market. There's a, there's a few key, very key 
depending on what you like, things that are missing. Uh, namely, there's one of our affiliates, our CW affiliate is missing. Uh, KTLA Channel 5 is not on AT&T TV, it's on DirecTV. The NFL Network on Sunday Ticket, same thing. And then maybe the most, I think, I don't even think that LeBron James is even aware of this, but LeBron James is a spokesperson for AT&T TV. I'm not sure if LeBron James knows or not that AT&T TV subscribers in the LA market actually can't watch the Lakers. Because you see, while Spectrum Sportsnet is on DirecTV, which is the Lakers regional channel that televises all the Laker games, except for a few that uh, ESPN and TNT and ABC have the rights to. Well, that again is not, uh, tra doesn't translate to AT&T TV. So if you have that channel, or if you, if you want that channel, you're not gonna get it on AT&T TV. So that's just one example. So that's the, that's the content. Uh, and again, this could be fixed and uh, cro fingers crossed, I'm hoping it is going to be fixed in time. Let's talk about the major thing that I think will probably turn uh, maybe a lot of people off to this. And that's the fact that, well, this is an internet streaming uh, service. This is not actually uh, marketed toward traditional cord cutters. Uh, people that want Sling TV or YouTube TV or even AT&T TV now, uh, this, this is not uh, marketed towards those people. This is marketed more towards um, they want to actually tr migrate all their DirecTV subscribers into this product. So it is, it is marketed as a cable satellite replacement, but without the need to have an installer come to your house, run cable wire, again, it's a very small and slick um, product. Okay, so hence the exact same pricing terms as regular DirecTV. We're talking a two-year contract, we're talking the first 12 months, uh, depending on the tiers, like I got the tier, it's called the extra package, $64.99 for 12 months, plus a regional sports fee. So uh, AT&T TV has two uh, regional networks, Fox Sports and Prime Ticket. And that's like $5.50. It could go up to $8.50. Maybe if you live in New York City, it's probably $8.50. I'm not sure exactly. So my total cost is 74, I think $74 and something. That's good for 12 months. Uh, on month 13, that price nearly doubles. So it goes up to probably about $130 a month. And if I wanted to cancel that, I'm gonna be paying $15 a month for all remaining months. So let's say that, yeah, my, my cameraman's eye is just bugged out of his head when I mentioned that. Let's say that I had this for 12 months. I canceled it on month 13 um, so that I'm, Basically, I'm going to be paying $15 a month for all outstanding months. So somewhere in the neighborhood of you know, $175 or $180 is my early termination fee. It's exactly the same as what you get with Direct TV Satellite. There's no difference to it. The other thing um, with the boxes of AT&T TV, um, you get one of them included. And, but you have to fulfill that contract period if you cancel early. And yeah, again, guys, you have 14 days to cancel. So you can try it out, order it online, and if you're not happy by the 13th day, just call up AT&T and cancel and send the box back. No harm, no foul. So it's important to know. Just try it out 14 days. And if you like it, go ahead and keep it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and, oh, the, the, the boxes. So one box included, each additional box is $120. So I've got three of them, uh, three different rooms in my house, and uh, you can do a installment plan on the boxes, no interest, 12 months for 10 bucks a month per box if you want. So now guys, we're gonna go ahead and check this out. What does this look like on, uh, on TV? So let's check it out. All right guys, so here's the interface. Again, this is CNN, so we'll go ahead and just type in, let's say ESPN channel 206. Comes up and you just select that and there you see the channel change. So now we're on ESPN. I'll just go ahead and flip through the channels. You can see what that looks like. Now it's fairly quick. And again, the picture quality uh, is the best I've ever seen. So the other thing, this is interesting. Uh, ESPN does this on all the streaming services. So it goes through the channels again are exactly the same as DirecTV. 
Um, the guide is extremely slick. I can just scroll through here and it overlays the screen. I can see what's on. I can instantly, oh, let's see, I want to go ahead and watch uh, HGTV. And, yeah, it's, it's very intuitive. Um, hitting the home button, this is very similar if, you, if you've seen DirecTV Now or AT&T TV Now. It's got Watch Now, The Guide, My Library, Discover, and Apps. Since this is an Android box, it has Netflix. It's got Google Play, so you can rent movies from the Google Store if you'd like. So go to the guide, and um, this is what the guide looks like. This is very, very similar to what uh, DirecTV looks like. It's almost identical to DirecTV Satellite. And then here is uh, the, your DVR. So is pressing the list button on the uh, on the remote, goes to your DVR, and uh, the DVR is very, very slick and intuitive. It's real easy. If you see up there, I've got 482 hours left of my uh, recording time, and I can control what I'm searching for and recording on the DVR. Um, from from this interface or what, what I find easier is just to um, actually explore it and search from um, from my, my smartphone app smartphone app on my iPhone it's super cool so 60 minutes is recording right now go ahead and select that I'll go ahead and, and select watch now it says it's recording on channel 2 that's the other thing that's great about this is that now watch it'll, it'll do a, a speed search so I hit the right arrow button and it'll speed 15 seconds. It's super quick how it does that. I can go up to 60, 75 as much as I need to and it just skips to where it needs to go. Um, it's quick. And then it's got, uh, they tried to make this look and I think they succeeded as much like a uh, DirecTV satellite interface or cable TV interface as they could and I think they did an unbelievable job with it. So I can fast forward, go up to four times speed, fast forwarding, go back. Um, again, this is recording right now. Just hit the pause button. We'll go back and exit out of this recording and we'll go to um, just regular live TV. And same thing, I can just press pause button on live TV. It says, hey, I can restart it if I want. I can go ahead and watch it from the beginning, or I can just leave this and, uh, you know, I can pause it for 30 minutes, go down, have dinner, come back. It's still going to be paused and pick up from where I left off. So uh, that's it. And again, to get this, you guys, um, go to at and and sign up for at and TV. They're going to ship you out overnight delivery, uh, a minimum of one of these boxes. And... Uh, you can you can buy more you can get more if you need again it's it's three streams concurrent streams um and uh it's very very intuitive very very slick so like and subscribe and uh we appreciate you checking out my video happy watching